previously on the Body Reaper. We've got a big J here today. Uh, we're retightening the tunnel there. And I've just had all my liners turn up. Big J and Marley are back. Ooh, ooh. For those of you that don't know, we are going to the Koi Show. The National Koi Show, ladies and gentlemen. The National Koi Show. Saturday the 29th and 30th of June. Alas, we have a very, very tight tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I am, uh, you have to bear with me because I'm balancing two bananas in one hand and also my protein shake as well. Because I don't know whether you've noticed or not, ladies and gentlemen, spoons, but I'm losing a little bit of weight and I'm feeling mint. I am feeling absolutely mega about myself, I'm not going to lie. The sun's out. I will be beach body ready. I don't know at what point I'm ever going to be on a beach, but I will be beach body ready. This video is the one you've all been waiting for. The big, full koi farm update exactly where we're at and where the next stage of progression is so we're going to start out over the top of bear with me there we go we're going to start out over the top of the uh window pond i am going to drink my breakfast though as we go so in the last video i did mention and i said good morning everybody and i was unsure on what to call you Adam Johnson, he wins. So Adam Johnson takes the prize for naming the channel users. Reefers is what you all are that support and comment. So what I will do is we've not done anything like this in a while. And I have got two bags now of Yoshihigui Pro left until my next restock comes. So I'm going to give away one bag of Yoshihigui Pro. Well, for those of you that are wondering, that may never have used a Shiki Good Pro before, it's a 10 kilo sack, it is high growth, it is high colour, and it's a 3 mil pellet with ultra low waste. It is absolutely insane. If you want, join the Reef Oasis Koi Farm community chat. I will put a, vi uh, a link in the video description down below, and I will leave one in the pinned comment section down below as well. Because we're soon going to be bringing back our auctions. Any of our bargains that are dropping are all going in there first. So, to be part, I'll tell you what, because I've got two bags left. We'll do two giveaways. I'm feeling fruity, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling fruity. Two giveaways. Giveaway number one, you have to tag what Adam Johnson said. Hashtag reefers giveaway. In the... Comment section below this video. To be in with a second chance of winning a bag, and by the way, when we do a random wheel of death on Thursday, because I'm going to get to Thursday in a second, when we do a random wheel of death on Thursday, we are going to draw them both at the same time for both the bags. So what that means, you could comment hashtag Reefus in the video, in the comment section down below. Then you could also hit the link go through to our TBR community chat and just for being part of it could also be in with a chance of that. So imagine when we do a Wheel of Death, because I was the original that coined the Wheel of Death, ladies and gentlemen. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I was the one that coined the Wheel of Death. We will do two Wheel of Deaths on Thursday. The reason why we're going to do two Wheel of Deaths is we want to draw both of these bags. So you could, in essence, walk away 20 kilos of your Shiki Good Pro. And honestly, I absolutely love the stuff. It's the only thing used over in your Shiki Good. Whether it's a 110 centimeter coin, or whether it's a 10 centimeter coin, still gets fed the free mill pellet. And if you, if you want an extra vote in there, comment, uh, hey sexy. Because, you know, weight's coming off. The bulk is going on. You know what I mean? Look at that. I'm almost filling my T-shirt, man. I can only get one finger in the back of that. But in all seriousness, show season is right around the corner. We're at the end of this month, we have the spring event where we have a hog roast. Mr. McCormick has very kindly offered to put a hog roast together. 
So we are going to be doing a hog roast, which is the 28th and 29th of this month, which is a Saturday and Sunday. Over the next three or four weeks, building up until this point, we are going to be doing so many giveaways, it is untrue. We're going to be doing mystery box giveaways. We're going to be doing jumbo toe side giveaways. We're going to be doing this side giveaways. We are going to be doing sand side giveaways. And because I'm about as daft as they come, I may even do one of my 64 centimeter Karashi Gui giveaways. New merch. This is the staff clothing one. We are going to be giving away some merch. You'll get exactly the same as this, but black. And you can have your name underneath. Again, all you've got to do is be a subscriber of the channel and tune in to the videos over the next three to four weeks. We're going to be giving jumpers away. Hoodies, t-shirts, polo shirts, you name it. We are gearing up for the biggest event that we have ever had at Reef Oasis Crew Farm. We've got the Azakari Pond at the very back, which has got Melvin, the Inazumu Kahaku, in there at the moment, which I'll take you into the Azagari Tunnel ever so short. Excuse me, ever so shortly. But let me spin you around, grab some Yashiki Goi Pro, and you guys remember the chance of winning, and show you the window pond. <coughs> because the window pond, a lot of the fish now have been collected, a lot of the fish have been moved out. We might as well start another grower in here, aren't we, really? Or an over summer season where we can actually get some serious growth in. Because some of the numbers that I've done have been absolutely incredible on some of these fish. I'm hoping to get a little bit of a cheeky interview with Carl because Carl actually ended up with eight fish in this window pond. He's already had two delivered out of here. Uh, sorry, one delivered out of here and one delivered from outside. And he's absolutely blown away. But let me grab some food and let's throw some in here. Let's go. So this here that you can see raining down now, ladies and gentlemen, is the Yashiki Gui Thro Pro 3 mil pellet. And this here is called Big Beautiful Achiba. She's absolutely great. I'm going to grab another handful of food because I want to see if I can show you all my party trick. I'm going to have to move this net probably because that's why a lot of them are pretty scared. I mean, look at that Benny Ginga. Oh my God, she's insane. Let me see if I can show you my party trick. Normally I hold my hand like this. I'm going to be moving that. Might spook him a touch, but I've been trying to train Carl's fish for him. He doesn't know. He's probably going to find out off the back of this video. But what I can literally do is normally I just hold my hand above the water like this and his big one comes up. She's probably not going to do it now because I'm on camera. His big one comes up and literally I can just tip it straight into her mouth. We've got the one Deutsche Kaku just there. That one is still available. But yeah, they've been doing absolutely tremendously well. Packing on some serious size. Chuck a bit more in. Yeah, packing on some serious, serious size. Doing tremendously well. We'll come back to these guys in a minute once they've uh, all settled down because typical fashion women being on video. They, uh, they don't want to come up and say hello. The back pond, I have still done absolutely naff all with this. However, I am going to drain the rest of this off today. And I was going to go down the route of trying to resort out the fiberglass on the bottom and stuff like that. I am sick to the back teeth. Of doing things and doing things and doing things and doing things and doing things. Sometimes it just ain't worth it. Let me just correct your posture there because you're all on the uh, skew if. There you go, some old fancy dancing there. Different camera stands and stuff like that since we've had Jack the Video Editor here. Um, <coughs> look at them there, they're mad. Doing absolutely mega. I'm sick, sick and tired of doing, not things half-hearted, but trying things and I'm not really working out the best way they should be. So my plan is, get a box wild line and order for this. It's going to be painful because it's going to be expensive, but just literally bite the bullet and get it done. Do you know what I mean? 
Then it's out the way completely. I need two backy showers for the back of here, but I don't know whether to go with a big two meter one. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, two meter or one meter backy shower. The one meter backy shower would look absolutely class going all the way across the back here. If you imagine, let me spin you around. If you imagine between like this post and this post here, a backy shower just fills that. We get some nice aces in the back, all on the sides and stuff, and really have this as a nice settled down, established pond. I think that's probably going to be the way that I'm going to go on this one. I've already got, like I say, my giant multi bay. Works an absolute treat. It is an incredible piece of filtration. One of the lot, one, well, the second largest filtration system I have on the whole of Reef Oasis Screw Farm. Uh, the grow outs that a lot of you guys have been asking about. Let me spin you around for that. So the uh, the Chagoys, the Saragoys, the uh, Achibas and the Harawakis are doing fantastically well. They are all over that magic sort of 35 cm range. And they eat like the absolute clappers. I do still have some Asagis left here, but I'm thinking that I'm going to actually continue to push these and actually grow these bad boys on myself. There is still a couple left to be delivered. Holy log, there's your big beast there. There is still a couple of the bigger sorghies left to be delivered. And then the rest, I'm really, really looking forward to actually honing these in and actually growing them out. But as you can see, the bodies that these guys are putting on are absolutely incredible. So yeah, still a lot to do. Some of them, like I say, are over that. They're around the 40 range. Some of them are smaller, but they're the swap outs that I've already got in there. And obviously not every koi is destined to be absolutely huge. But on the Saturday morning at our spring event, when we do both of the uh, draws for these, what we'll, what we'll actually do is we'll open at like 9 till 10.30 for the draws on these. Obviously, anybody that has message that wants them posting, obviously, that's absolutely fine. Um, there will be... I'll tell you what. Let me... No, I, I'm going to have to do this bit now. So there is a new website being launched on Thursday. Uh, we've had it all redone, all revamped. It looks absolutely incredible. There will be a section on the grow out where I need you guys to complete the Google Forms that is on there to give me your updated t-shirt sizing so I can have them all here for at the end of the month. And don't forget, you've got your 10 kilos of food, you've got your mug, and you've also got your t-shirt and your certificate as well for taking part. So that is going to be at the end of the month. I mean, look at them. These guys will just keep going and going and going. Um, we've got another week of high intense feeding on these guys and then we're actually going to be cooling them right down um, so they can be at ambient temperatures because obviously I want to turn off the heaters that are on here because as well as being in the polytunnel next week the weather's supposed to be shamazing. Um, so yeah, I need to make sure that the right temperatures for your guys is bonds. Let's just talk about this pond. So pond one, inside of the tunnel. Pete, we've got your big uh, shower there. She's absolutely gorgeous, mate. Doing tremendously well. Don't forget, guys, this is filmed in a wide-angle lens. If I switch it to a normal lens, there you go. <coughs> I may actually do some raffles on these big Karashi guys. Hit me up in the comment section down below if you want me to do some of the raffles on these. The Kahakus here that I'm pushing, they're absolutely immense. They are doing tremendously well. We've got the big Achiba. Everybody knows that Yos Haban is the Achiba King. We've got two Wagoi Achibas here. And then again, we've got this big Gimrim Beast here. This is going to be an absolute monster. This one here is my personal favourite out of all three. And then again, we've got a nice, nice full-bodied chag there. Again, going to be a beast. But the Karashi guys are just absolutely something else. They really, really are. Let me see if I can attach my phone onto here. No, I need to do it the opposite way. I'll tell you what. Let me stick my phone in here, and then we'll get some feed in this bottom corner. Let's go. So again, the thing is with big fish, they're never going to absolutely pound the surface. They're slow, gracious eaters. You guys can't really see that there, can you? 
They are slow, gracious eaters. As you can see, we turn the air off so you can see them properly. Trying to keep the food all down in one place. Hold your Pete, your big girl literally eats me out of house and home. But the bodies and stuff on these Karashigoyas are absolutely wild. They really, really are wild. Some of the Kahakus that I've got in here as well that I've been developing out are just absolutely something else. They really, really are. I've actually got a photograph another two today. But all these in here have got to be photographed and added to the new website. I mean, the Ginrin four step Kaku there. Love this one here, eh, the pattern. He's actually coming away from his face, which is exactly what I was hoping for. As you can see there on the front. To leave it nice and clean, perfect split there between the eyes. Love it. There you go, Pete. There's your big girl again. And then for those, the eagle-eyed viewers, you'll notice our mascots. We've got about six or seven in there. I mean, look at this big fella. I say big fella, big girl. She's going to be absolutely wild, the size of her. But yeah, who would be interested in a Karashigoi raffle? For like a pound a ticket. There's no fixed limit on the amount of tickets that you can buy. But we'll run it for like a pound a ticket. But yeah, this by far is one of my most favourite ponds. Now again, what I debated doing with the pond that's here, uh, with the big Karashigoi's in, <coughs> is going over to Poland, buying five fish and just keeping them here in the three and a half thousand gallon pond and seeing how much I can actually push them, grow them on, develop them out. I love growing fish. It is definitely a definite, definite like, big hobby, big interest of mine. And it is what sort of keeps me up at night thinking about the best ways that we can, the best ways we can push fish, the best ways we can develop fish. If I was to keep five in here, what five would you guys want me to keep? And then again, in the opposite side, what five would you guys like me to keep in there? This is, like I say, the, the I say the Azucari Tunnel, or takes to the Azucari Tunnel in a second. The, the Koi Academy has always been designed and built for pushing Koi and growing Koi on. And I've been able to do it tremendously well with my window pond over the past, sort of, like I say, six or seven months. I want to be able to do the same on the front two ponds here and have an absolute amazing, amazing collection on the very back pond there. So I am going to go down the route of Box Wild Liner on that. Don't forget to let me know. Do I go one metre shower or two metre shower on that back one? Well, yeah, that's what this tunnel was always designed for. That's what this tunnel was always about. Getting the most out of fish, developing fish out. Bringing a lot of fish in as, as small toe so really pumping some serious sizing, some serious amounts of food into them. To be able to see how much we can push and how much we can change these fish. I see Ryuki over in Japan at the moment. He's... Uh, sharing different fish that he's done it with. And he goes from literally Tosai to Sansai to Yonsai uh, and, and further out. And typically it's done over a five year period and you're seeing how much these fish have developed out. And it's absolutely wild. I, I love it. Like I love pushing fish. I love developing fish. All the fish that I'm growing obviously are for sale, but I want, I want some feedback off you guys. What do you guys want to see on the video? Do we have five Wagoi? In the left, i.e. scale koi, and in the right, do we have five doitsu fish? Do we take them all at the same size? Do we start out at 50 centimetres? Do we start out at 60s, 70s, 80s? What's, what kind of sizes do you guys want to see me doing? Hit me up in the comments section down below. Now, let me take you outside and show you the Asagari house. Let's go. So the new Asagari koi house, as it's aptly been called, I have got to go over to Birmingham to pick up the door uh, for the front. So it'll go here and it'll be a single spad door all the way down. And then on the left and the right, the same as what we have on the Koi Academy, Barrett's printer design are going to do us 
the uh, Asakari Koi House signs, exactly the same as that. I'll take you over there in a second and show you all of that. Uh, mystery tow side boxes. We do a scrape on all of our ponds in here every Wednesday. But some of our mystery tow side boxes are available on the current website as we speak at the moment. And as you can see, the quality mix and the size that you're getting is absolutely second to none. It really, really is. I've got another 2,000 fish quarantining down outside, but these guys here are literally ready to rock and roll and ready to leave. We will do some feeding shortly as well. This is our next size up. Again, needs a restraight for Wednesday. And you can see by the pricing, you save money by going onto the website and buying them as the mystery tow site boxes. But again, these guys in here are all typically are in the sort of 22 to 25 cm range, doing tremendously well. Again, gannets on the feeds. And then if you're part of the Reef Oasis Koi Farm um, WhatsApp group, there is two. There's the community channel, which your phone doesn't ping left, right and centre. But then we do have the bunkhouse, which your phone will go pretty nuts. Uh, all of these guys here have been photographed, ready again to go up onto the new website. I have reset the Kajaku pond. Um, we're running a slightly different filter on here. We're going, we're going for multi bays. All these ones here are going to be used outside. Was the original reason why we went ahead and built the concrete pads was so we could do big concrete multi bays the same way as what we've got on the outside of this one here. So the first part of attack is to do the first pod there on the right when you walk in, pod uh, four, that one is. And then we'll move down to pond five and then we'll reuse these profit lines outside. But again, this pond here is, uh, is my pond where I've just chucked in a, a few different mixes and a few different varieties of what I personally want to be pushing. There's a, a couple of very, very close friends fish in here that I'm growing out for them. Uh, Carl and his dad uh, being one of them. Um, starting out with some, uh, some tow side. We've uh, got some inline heaters now. Um, this one has an inline heater on it, and the one at the back there has got an inline heater on it as well. So pond one and two have got inline heaters on. I need to put an inline heater on pond three today. This is going up to Derby on Tuesday. And then we've got the big Azakari pond. So the big Azakari pond at the moment, you will notice, has no fishing. Because we are resetting this, getting ready for a brand spanking new Azakari koi, koi pond video. Melvin is the number one fish that will always stay in this pond with me. It's the inner Zumu Kahaku, and there's a dedicated story coming out about that fish. We've got the back of running on the side. Like I say, there's literally no fishing here at the minute. Uh, we've got a, a huge, huge multi bay there. This pond sits around 6,000 gallons in total when it's completely full. But like I say, I'm slowly draining this off at the moment. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to put the UV line in across the back, reset this pond completely, because there are some very, very special fish going in here. Now, for any of the new subscribers that are new to the channel, and if you are new watching this video, swipe up and hit the subscribe button for me. It's the easiest and cheapest way to help promote the channel. For any of the new subscribers um, that haven't seen, or any subscribers currently that haven't seen the other Azakari video, the whole idea about the Azakari Koi Pond is to make fish accessible to absolutely everybody. So what we'll be able to do is we're offering 50 fish in this back Azakari Koi Pond here on a split payment method all the way throughout summer. So if there's that fish that's that little bit outside of budget, I mean, even if you we went to something on like the higher end, and let's say you were looking at a thousand pound fish, you could actually split that fish down over payments of 82 pound a month over a 12 month period and a growing fee of £20 a month to keep them in here. This is going to have a bio UV on there, which is basically a UV clarifier and sterilizer built in. It's having a air source heat pump attached onto it. I'm in Holland next week, uh, and I will be bringing that back over with me. Um, and that'll be sat on the back. We've then got the backy shower, all of our media on here. Yoss is going to be over here every three months, coaching and guiding through and doing update videos and update talks on any of the fish that are going to be in the Azakari pond. Azakari basically stands for growing, uh, growing on, growing out in Japan. And that's what I want to do, be able to do with this pond, is make fish accessible to absolutely everybody. 
So for somebody that may potentially be looking for that showpiece fish, but they don't necessarily want to spend towards the high end straight away, we can offer you that out on a split payment method. You have a full guarantee with any of the fish that are in here for coloration, fading, coloration not going the way that we said it was going to go. If the body, if it gets body dysmorphia, if it gets uh, a tumor or anything like that, um, if it falls sick, again, you get, a, you get a full guaranteed replacement for a light, for light fish at the time. So let's say, for example, if we get all the way through uh, the 12 month Azagari period and all of a sudden your coil decides to torpedo out the top, which shouldn't happen because we are putting some fancy dancy glass jump guards around. Um, then if it, let's say we took it from 30 centimeters to 65 centimeters, you'd have a light for light replacement on a 65 centimeter fish. It's something that we've had to work very, very hard with, with your shiki guy. But we, we, I said at the start of this year, we're coming to take over. Uh, the farms are a hell of a lot more established. My name's a lot more established. The trust is a lot more established. My knowledge is improving day by day by day. And it's insane the knowledge I have now compared to what I had 12 months ago, compared to two years ago, compared to three years ago. I know all that down to Yoss and Merv over at Yashiki Goy, um, my mentors within the Koi world as well. Um, so thank you all. And to you guys as customers and you guys as, as subscribers, thank you very much for putting your trust in me, your faith in me to be able to continue to, to push things on and, and, and really develop things out. Without you guys, I wouldn't be stood where I am here today. I'm talking about right where I'm stood now. Within the next two weeks, I'm not going to be stood here. I, let me spin you around. I am going to have to walk up a set of steps pretty much from where this black brick is here. Because what we're doing is we're putting a piece of uh, 6B, 6B2 all the way across the front. And then we're actually putting a, an extending floating deck out until uh, this polytunnel pipe here. Which basically will sit at 2.7 metres off the back wall. So when you come up, you will literally be stood up on top up here. Literally overlooking the Ascari Pond. You'll be able to walk across the whole of the filter. From the sides all the way down, there will be a glass jump guard sitting yay high all the way up. It'll be the best way to appreciate any of the koi that are in here. These koi aren't going to be netted. These koi aren't going to be handled very regularly. Because these are your fish that you guys have put trust and faith in me to be able to push and develop out and grow on. I am so excited about this tunnel. Uh, we've got the best part of about 30 tonne of stone to put down in here. I said we'd do some feeding, didn't I? Uh, we've got the best part of about 30 tonne of stone to put down in here. Uh, which again will level all the floor off completely. So again, there's so much to come. Come back over to these guys in a second once they all start to come up for the food. And again, same with these guys. They just go absolutely crackers for it. These guys are all in, coming up to get some feeding them now. But again, fantastic pricing. The mystery toe side boxes are due to come off within the next 14 days. I mean, look at that. Growing on fish is definitely something that I really, really do enjoy doing. The vortex that these ponds create are absolutely incredible for making the fish swim, eat and grow, which is the number one thing. Look at these guys. Again, doing fantastically well. Again, the bigger fish, uh, they will come up and eat, but it does take them a, a second or two longer because they are, like I say, some of these are just about to enter Nissai. Some of them are already Nissai. But yeah, they're doing fantastically well. I love to see it. Let me take you outside and show you the development bits and pieces that I've been doing out here. Because a lot has changed. So for the guys, for the tunnel, are booked in. Uh, we've just got to wait for low wind days. The tunnel did blow off the other day, which is why it is still so loose and so baggy. Um, but I have got to re -pull this. You can see here where the holes are. That's literally how much it's lifted off when all these kick rails come out. But I have to wait until the wind isn't doing this to be able to do it. Uh, water's been dropped on these guys. Uh, we did some scrapes and we found a little bit of trick and a little bit of flukes. 
um, when we drop the water to do the photographing of all these, because all these guys here that are unsold will be going up onto the website launch, which we are doing on Thursday. So again, all these by Tuesday will be full, quarantine free and clear. Uh, Nexus, I've got a Nexus here that's off, ready to rock and roll. This one is already going to its forever home, but I do have another one up there over the back, which again will be coming off and will be available. There is no fish in here. Uh, we are literally getting this ready. Um, we've got to purge it off, um, then the waste valve, which is down there, because what we're doing is the blue tank over there, which we were using as a hospital tank, which touch wood we've never really had to use. <coughs> so we are going to be covering that whole area there with some um, fencing to cover up the generator at the back just for extra security. So that uh, four meter by one meter by one meter uh, fiberglass tank, which is the same as that, is basically going to be going into situ here. My two ponds over the back there. Um, this one's um, drained down and the one over the back there has got fishing. I'll take you around that way in a second because I can't get through at the minute because the digger's in the way. Um, but this here is going to be our quarantine house. So we're going to have this pond here, this pond here and this pond here as our three big QT systems. That will not be accessible to Joe Public. The only thing that will be, will be this bit here through here. And again, we are building up the flooring so you will sit around yay height. Um, we've got the box wild liners in. I just need to put my bottom drains in, same as that one there. Um, I just need to put my bottom drains in from Scott at Coiponics, um, which I will get Jack to leave a video description down below for Scott's eBay channel and whatnot because he didn't do it on the last video. Um, we've already got our, let's say, ball valve lines all connected in, ready to rock and roll. Uh, I just simply need to go ahead and build the filtration, which I've got one of my filtration units there over the front. And then I also need to go ahead and actually fix down uh, this box weld liner on here as well. Um, this one here, whilst I've got the digger, I need to put some, uh, what they're called, um, forms in on the side. We're actually going to go ahead and do a concrete pour in here. Uh, just to give us that guaranteed strength uh, and rigidity that we need. Uh, I am going to be putting down some of the stone that's there. Uh, talking about stone, this whole area here at the front is going to get redone. So this stone here is basically for all these bits and pieces. I don't know why I'm still carrying this tub of food. Uh, this stone here is for all these bits and pieces all the way down here because it's all going to be stoned underneath. Um, so yeah, ready to rock and roll with that. Bags of K1, as you can see, we do advertise it as 50 litres, but as you can see, there is a hell of a lot more in there than 50 litres. These need to get moved today to the back uh, blue container, um, because we've got to do with stripping that out and tidying all that through. But I can happily say that with the staff that we've now got on board and the team around us, that everything is going out next day. Um, this pond here today, uh, while that's filling, excuse me, hay fever season. Uh, while that's filling, uh, I will close the ball valves on here and I will go ahead and I will reset the multi the settlement chamber and then I will go ahead and reset the multi bay chamber as well. Um, hell of a lot of dealer inquiries coming through at the moment. Um, if it is that you are interested, just send me an email shop at reeferoasiscoolyfarm.com. Um, yeah, hell of a lot of stuff coming. Hell of a lot of stuff changing. This is the casting couch, not literally. Um, that's my desk there. Sparkling water, as you can see. And I've got a chicken on my desk. So I'm not quite having a Sunday roast today. But I will be uh, stripping and uh, shredding a little bit of chicken. Don't know, quite know what I've done to my nose there. I think I might have lost a fight with something in the gym. Probably a dumbbell. I know, yeah, I need to show me. Yeah, look at that. How patchy and horrible it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to shave my head later on, so I feel like absolute Superman. We had the GGs on the TV yesterday for the Grand National. And uh, let's uh, pop our head through the door and see what Jack's doing. Because I've been telling everybody, Jack, about our new website launch for Thursday. Just don't show the screen. I won't show the screen. Because I'll blur it and that's more work. Because I'll blur it and more work. So this video is actually being recorded on Sunday, which today is Sunday, if you want to show proof on your phone. 
There you go. 1051 Sunday the 14th. So this has been one sort of like big long shot one take kind of video. Um, but yeah, let me spin you around so we can do a little bit of a, a little pan out chat with Jack. So, mate, how long have you been here now? I don't know. <laughs> two months, two and a half months. Two and a half months. I don't know what, is it four weeks remote? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's about three months, isn't it? Three and a half months, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Are you, are you finding it most importantly, mate? Talk to your audience, mate. Yeah, Talk to your audience. Yeah, Come on. Are, are, how are you finding it in all seriousness? Is it what you imagined? Is it more? Is it less? It's more. Yeah. Definitely more than you originally expected. Yeah. But fun. Yeah. So I enjoy it. Are you happy though with it yeah. being more than what you originally yeah. expected? Because everybody else will be watching this going, TBR's killing him, he's beasting him. The only thing you feel is my arms. So, so just as an FYI, days, days. Jack's also joined the gym with me and he's lost a hell of a lot of weight, as you guys will see from the members only videos. The weight is falling off the boy. Um arms on Thursday and I still film on Sunday. What? Remember what I told you, I got nothing left in the tank and then Forced me to carry on. Yeah, do you feel good though now? No, I feel like my arms are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in the gym later on today again, getting it. Um, are you excited? Obviously, don't say too much about what projects are coming because, obviously, for obvious reasons, we can't <laughs> announce certain things. Um, are you excited though about what's coming? Yeah, yeah, hell of a lot of stuff coming. Do you think people at home are going to be as excited as what we are or more? I don't know, it's more personal for us, but. There's an incredible amount of stuff coming that will allow people at home. How do I say it without saying? Without giving too much um, away. Hmm. I guess I can edit it. If you can't. This is one shot, one take. Come on. Spit it out. Um, well, let's say there'll be one shop stop. A one shop stop? Yeah. Boom. And they, they can take it from there without me. Boom. So you're currently, I'm sorry, I can't spin the camera around at the moment. Can I? Not really. Asking. Well, you can see a little bit of, woo! So yeah, this is a little bit of code, but this is for the Reef Oasis Coy Farm website, isn't it, mate? Yes. So yeah. Um, I can't see, you can't see that, okay. Well, I'm going to leave Jack to get locked in. But yeah, massive, massive things are coming. It's all about having the right mindset, the right goals, the right team around you. Um, I follow uh, Joe Rogan and people like that online. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of his podcasts and stuff like that. And big Joey Diaz uh, and Joe Rogan are actually very, very good friends. Let me just sort this out. And... Uh, Joey Diaz says, you don't need an army to take over a country. Just give me three bad motherfuckers. I have mine. There's a hell of a lot of stuff coming. I am very, very excited. I uh, can't wait to see you all at the uh, National Koi Show. It was going to be incredible. Oh, which, by the way, with that, we are doing more giveaways as well with the National Koi Show, like we did last year with the door entry tickets and stuff like that. And we are doing... Some unreal giveaways on the day. Just for being there. Some unreal giveaways. I can't give too much away. Because the uh, my team of three BMFs will uh, absolutely kill me for letting the cat out of the bag. I've already been pre-warned before every video goes out. You haven't let anything slip, have you? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. But I've got the glint back in my eye, the smile back on my face. Farm is pushing along at a tremendous pace. And I, for one, am buzzing. Uh, some super exciting content coming out on Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget, Thursday is the website launch. So we are going to be doing a normal video. And then we are going to be going live afterwards on Thursday. So, yeah. I'm going to go and devour half of this uh, roast whole chicken. Uh, I do take the skin off, may I add. And then I'll be in the gym later, I'm in full beast mode again. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully when you lot see me at the coin show, I'll look like I'll lose a fight with a Mars bar. That is the plan. That is the plan. I need to get my beard trimmed up again. Uh, I need to get it dyed. But yeah, rocking and rolling, folks. Stay tuned. Big stuff coming. Other than that, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people, stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.